is certainly a tough act to follow, no doubt. But for all you EAAers out here, you're about to see something truly unique. It is now officially starting to end after official sunset, which means it is now nighttime. High overhead, as you can obviously see with those beautiful Wheeland lights from Wheeland Aviation Technologies, is David Martin. David Martin is flying a very unique airplane. I say it's unique, it's basically a stock 55 Baron. And it is truly stock because he and his wife Martha flew here from Popham Kingdom Lake in this very airplane. The only thing that is not stock in this airplane is the smoke system. David Martin's going to recreate an act that made him very impressed as a young man when he saw Tom Danner fly this very airplane at an air show in Texas. He was particularly impressed when Tom Danaher feathered both props, flew inverted down the runway, and made a dead stick landing. Right now, you're going to see David Martin under full power of those twin 470 engines, 260 horsepower each. So far, so good as he's under full power. But wait, Oshkosh, till the very end as he will feather the props and land at night completely with no power and fully feathered on those 470s. You can see he's doing a series of aerobatic maneuvers. This airplane, I want to remind you, is not configured, nor was it designed to be an aerobatic airplane. This is as stock as any other 55 Baron you can see at Whitman Field. David Martin has to be very careful when he flies this airplane to not overstress and or over G the aircraft. Because quite frankly, he and Martha got to fly it back to Possum Kingdom. All right, folks, let's listen in. It's going to be quiet, but let's listen in as David performs the inside loop. Well, we listened in, that was true, but it certainly wasn't an inside loop, it was an aileron roll, but that's fine. This is a live event, and you know tell what's going to happen until they actually do it. All right, David Martin, with that aircraft and the smoke system, is going to show you what it's capable of under full power. At some point in the show, like I said, towards the end, he's going to feather the propellers and land the airplane dead stick. David wants to remind all you TAAers out there, and particularly you Baron drivers, please, please do not try this. Get your favorite truckster. David has lots of experience as he's also an aerobatic pilot flying the Brightman Cap 232 and a former world champion. But in truth, EAA 4, David Martin, is performing extraordinary maneuvers in a very unique airplane. Oftentimes, we see the very powerful aerobatic airplane in the sky. But EAA is unique. It brings these very special acts, something unique and different that we can see. Many of you have been to the convention for a number of years and used to see all kinds of crazy stuff. The flying car, of course, the Yak 110 with Jeff Bergen. Well, this is under that same type of theory. Something unique in a very, very ordinary airplane. There's that inside loop that we were talking about a moment ago, as he has to be very careful right about here not to overstress his airplane. This is David's fourth performance at Oshkosh. I call it Oshkosh because all of us from Texas call EAA Oshkosh. And I know all you folks out there from Texas and other parts know what I'm talking about. Technically it is Air Venture, but for the 25 years I've been coming here, it's hard for me to say it. I just call it Oshkosh. Here it comes. Very nice. Down low. Let's listen in and walk. The master. That is David Martin.
gentlemen. That is our clue that David is now going to feather the propellers. So we're going to get the music down just a little bit, and I want everyone to listen in, and I'll be quiet. To a completely silent glider here in just a moment, as he's going to set up for his inverted twenty. Show. Stick around. We have Bob Carlson. Super soft, so gently. Have a 